we're ecstatic. We're moving on to the Garden. It's uh, we played a very good hockey team. Yeah, things kind of went our way today. We got some puck luck, and uh, we uh, didn't have to chase the game. So it's, uh, it was a good game for us. Questions for the players at this time? John, uh, going back to the God for the fifth year, I mean, it's something you guys strive for, obviously. But uh, it sounds like fans now expect it. Uh, can you talk about just that that experience of heading back? I. Yeah, I've been fortunate uh, in my two years past to make it to the Garden, and I think it's just kind of in our culture. We kind of expect to make it there, and uh, kind of show tonight we really wanted to make it back there again, and we were fortunate enough to make it there tonight. What, uh, from, you know, it's kind of a big 48-hour swing uh, <coughs> every night to today, and today was sort of a, an emphatic statement. Uh, is this kind of, did you have a sense you were going to play like this today, I guess, that would be the... Uh, uh, well, I think Coach said it best, and... Our pre game meeting, it was kind of a culture test, and we take a lot of pride in making it back to the garden and in our culture. So we responded, and uh, we're happy with the result. John, you don't want eight to two by having one or two guys playing well, obviously. Uh, but could you talk about, in a very pressurized situation, the play of uh, Kenny and the fellow freshmen to, uh, to play like they did today? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's that time of year where we need kind of everyone kind of contributing, and Tonight was kind of Kenny's night, and uh, O'Neill, that whole line, had a good had a good night for us, and we'll need that moving forward. Kenny, the two goals in 19 seconds that got you from 2-1 to one, four to 4-1. to one. Can you go through those two goals, and what, what was the mindset right then at that point? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, Long did a good job winning that face-off on the first one, and uh, it was just right on my stick. We run that play all the time, and uh, we were fortunate to win the draw, and uh, just came in, took a shot, had a shot lane. Uh, we had good traffic there. And it went in, and on the second one, it was just great cycle by CJ, um, just low to high up to uh, Zinc, and then he finds CJ, uh, kind of back door, what we kind of call splash. And I was just sitting back door, and he just saw me right away, and it was just a tap. And so, just all credit to my line mates on those two goals. Can you sense when the team is demoralized at that point? Is that what you sense? I'm, I mean, I wouldn't say that, but uh, we, we just wanted to keep it going. We were playing really well hockey. We responded to their goal uh, really well, and I think the rest of the period kind of showed that. John, I guess just, I don't think you played Notre Dame, I think it was like back in November or something. Uh, anything <laughs> that too long ago for, to take anything away from that uh, series in South Bend? Oh, uh, well, I mean, they're probably a different team and we're probably a different team too. Um, they'll be a good test and we've got to be ready for them. Thank you. Thanks, guys. You can head back to Thank you. More questions for Coach? Coach, obviously the first two games were much closer. I mean, what about today was really just different for you guys? Well, we, we realized that um, they've played uh, three hockey games last week. So for us, it was a simple game plan. We wanted to use our legs. We had some fresh legs in the lineup. Collins and, and uh, Marin, I thought, played very well. Um, there was some infusion of, uh, of legs through those two guys. Panic only played one game. So, I mean, you know, we felt we were fresh. And uh, like I said, I think uh, we were able to uh, control the tempo a little bit. As a coach, when you get up that big in a game, uh, in its elimination playoff game, like what is, what's the mind like bench management wise? How do you how do you approach it with resting guys or that kind of thing? Well, I, I was pleased at the end of the game that uh, you know it shows what a classy program UNH has. The guys didn't get out of control. You know, Dickie had a good control of his bench, and and those kids played till the till the end, and that's what you really look for as an opposing coach because. Uh, you know, you don't want any shenanigans after the whistle. You don't want to lose a player. You uh, you certainly want uh, to make sure that uh, you stay in good habits throughout the, the whole game. And, you know, it was a good game all the way through. We just uh, obviously had a uh, a lead there in the last half of the first and, and the second to uh, to have some breathing room. But they played hard till the very end. You know, can you talk about the production? From the fourth line to, to get six points in such a crucial game, well, what did you see from them? Who's the fourth line? The three freshmen. <laughs> yeah. I, I wouldn't consider those guys a fourth line. I don't know if we have a fourth line. I, you know, I think uh, it's reminiscent of some of the better Lowell teams we've had in the last six years, where we have, you know, four second lines, and uh, they haven't been a fourth line all year, to be honest with you. But uh, Gambo, Eddie, and, and CJ. 
they've kind of separated themselves as a, as a bona fide first line. But if you look at any of the other years we've been to the Garden, I don't know if we've had a line that separated themselves quite like Gambo's line. So, um, yeah, the freshman group, it came to play. And they, they picked the right time to uh, contribute. What do you think you were doing that made it so difficult for them to break the puck out? I think on that first power play goal, you guys scored. They had a couple chances to clear, and it seemed like all night your forecheck was making it hard for them to, you know, break it out effectively. Yeah, I thought we just had legs. You know, we play with a lot of tempo, and when you get on pucks first, usually you make plays. And I'd have to watch a film to be frank with you, to see which one you're referring to. But it's, um, yeah, the power play. It, I'm glad that it clicked a few times today. You know, we mixed it up uh, in the second half of the game and gave guys opportunities who hadn't gotten an opportunity in the power play this year. But, um, you know, overall, it's nice to get contributions from your special teams because you're going to need that in the end if you, uh, if you hope to get over the top. Yeah, the four top seeds are going. I mean, Hockey East was pretty compact at, um, top to bottom, but, I mean, at least on the top of half. Uh, what's that say? I mean, when everything kind of came through this weekend, you, the, the top four seeds teams are there. Can you comment on you know, the kind of teams that they got in there? Yeah, it's a, it's a great field. I mean, in the hockey, hockey is brutal. It, it's uh, every weekend's a challenge. I think it makes you a lot better. It's not just the players that make each other better. It's the coaches, too. You know, you talked about Notre Dame. I'll have to watch them. I, you know, they, I'm sure they're very different, drastically different than they were in November, and I think we are in certain aspects also, but it's, uh, it's the coaches um, that make uh, the other coaches better, and, and certainly the players do it to each other also. So it's a great league, and that's why the parity is so strong throughout. Nobody knows what's going to transpire next weekend, but right now heading to the Garden, I mean, is, is the feeling any different about this team than any previous team you're taking, taking to the Garden? Or? Yeah, I'll have to digest that over a couple more days. I, I, uh, it's a good question. It's really a good question. I, Give me a couple of days and, and have a better understanding of that. But overall, you know, you're just happy you moved on at this point because it is brutal. Hockey East is not easy. Anything else for Coach? Yeah, John. John kind of gets overlooked sometimes. You know, on the Gambardella and Smith line. What what does he bring to that line? And you know, could you just talk about how good he played tonight? Yeah, subtly smart, John Edward. I think he's a uh, a guy. Uh, a real hockey player because the play never dies with him. It's always moved forward, and that's a heck of a hockey player. If I had one description to to uh, to give uh, to a hockey player that you enjoy coaching it is uh, the play never dies, you know. And uh, he's perfect for those two guys because uh, Gambo is certainly a worker. You guys know him as as somebody who uh, who wins pucks. Uh, you know, CJ's had a reputation for finishing. And Eddie's just had a reputation for both, you know, within our locker room anyways. So I think he's a, a subtly very strong occupier.